subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the effect of gyroscopic couple in case of ships and for that here we have a question. It is given that when the rotor rotates in anti-clockwise direction and ship steers to the right. Now, at first I will give the notations to the parts of the ship. The front end when we are looking as an observer from the front it is called as It is the bow or fore end. Then this is the rear of the ship. And this rear end is called as stern or aft. After that, when we are looking from the rear, from the rear, the right hand side part is called as the starboard. And again looking from the rear, the left hand part of the ship is called as port. So these are the parts of the ship and it has a rotor which is rotating. This rotor can be considered as a crankshaft or a flywheel which is rotating and in this given case it is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction. So when we know the rotation of the rotor and here there is an axis, I'll just extend it. This axis is called as spin axis and now when we have this angular velocity of the rotor which is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction that angular velocity now I am going to denote it with the help of a vector for that case I have to curl the right hand fingers use the right hand rule curling it into the direction of the rotor which is rotating in an anti-clockwise manner so I would be curling my fingers in an anti-clockwise anti direction and when I am curling the fingers in an anti-clockwise direction the thumb is pointing towards the observer so the direction of the thumb is nothing but the velocity vector which is the angular velocity vector so at first this is the angular velocity vector next since the ship is steering to the right for that case, we have to observe it like we are shit, uh, sitting inside this ship and then it is moving or taking a right turn. So the right turn would be over here. So when the ship is taking a right turn, it is like this that it is rotating about a vertical axis and that axis is called as axis of precession. This is the precession axis and looking from top it is taking a right turn so about the precession axis the ship is we can say when it is steering the precessional angular velocity is going in this direction and that is denoted by omega p because it is taking a right turn so rotating about the axis in this direction that is when we are looking from the top that is a clockwise direction and now I can say that omega is the angular velocity of the rotor denoted by the vector. Omega p is the angular velocity of steering when the ship is steering to the right. So this omega p would also be denoted with the help of a vector. And now here I can say that this omega would be tilted or this spin axis it would be tilted 90 degree along the direction of this omega p like looking from top omega p is rotating in a clockwise direction so I need to turn this omega also in a clockwise direction by 90 degree for that this angle is 90 and it is in a plane this angle is acting in a plane and here we have active gyroscopic couple and just opposite to this active gyroscopic couple there would be a reactive gyroscopic couple
Now, once I know the direction of this reactive gyroscopic couple, I have to match the thumb of the right hand with the vector of this reactive gyroscopic couple that is this arrow and it is parallel to this arrow along the direction. So the curling fingers, they show the direction of the reactive gyroscopic couple. So that direction I am going to mark it over here. This is C which is the reactive gyroscopic couple. This same reactive gyroscopic couple would be transferred to this ship over here in this direction. So it is. This is C and now here I'll write the effect of this reactive gyroscopic couple. So the effect is because of this couple the stern part would be lifted and this fore end would dip down because the arrow is pointing over here. So the effect is when the ship is when the rotor is rotating in an anti-clockwise direction and ship is steering to the right in that case the stern part would be lifted up and this fore or bow end would dip down that is the gyroscopic effect for the given conditions. If you'll find my videos useful, you all can like, share, comment and subscribe our channel and share the videos amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.